any prejudices? I did. Maybe I was slightly Islamophobic. I thought that, you know, there was a lot going on, Iraq um, and so on. Um, I think I used to get scared if I heard the words Allahu Akbar. It used to scare me. I used to think that uh, Muslim men are all, you know, very strict, you know, beat the wives and all sorts of stuff. And, uh, you know, there was always the issue of Aisha radiallahu anha and her age. There was uh, there were so many stereotypes. I used to think Muslim women are suppressed. Why they do they have to wear a hijab? It's not right. I, I had lots of issues. How did your journey towards Islam begin? What impressed you the most about Islam? Funnily enough, with all the stereotypes that I had of Muslim women, the first thing that I looked into in Islam was women in Islam. So I listened to so many talks, read a lot on the internet. There's a book called The Great Women of Islam by Dar es Salaam, which is absolutely incredible. In my head, women were oppressed. Then I started reading into Islam and I realized, no, it's society that's oppressing women. And Islam uh, is very advanced. In fact, it's so advanced that I think we're still struggling to catch up with it now as a society. And inshallah, it will come back stronger because now with all the issues we're having with gender roles and and identity. I think Islam has all the answers to that and maybe it's time we caught up because Islam liberates women in so many ways. It puts women up here, actually. If, you know, society understands that, they will realize like I did that subhanAllah, Islam, you know, gives women so many rights, rights that they, you know, we never had before in this country, in the Muslim countries. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi taught us how to respect women. You know, that's through giving us, um, like I said, in, you know, the dowry, just as an example. The woman had to give money to the man. Now the man gives the dowry to the women. That's like a, a big thing for the people that used to, you know, get upset when they gave birth to a daughter. You know, so much that they would kill her. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would say that, you know, if you raise a daughter, if you raise daughters, you know, you, you're given Jannah. You know, you'll be like this with me in Jannah. And then, you know, like the smallest of things, if a woman's fighting with